Hey viewers, I was doing some minor retro modding on this old Cannondale here. One of the things I want to do is replace these old single pivot brakes with some newer styled uh, dual pivot brakes. Uh, one of the issues is these newer style brakes are recess mounted where the old uh, brakes are nutted. So what I'm going to have to do is do some minor modifications to the frame so that I can fit these on there. I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's start off by removing the old brakes, which is generally just like a 10 millimeter nut. So just loosen that and take that off and slide these off like that. And same with the rear brake. Go ahead and take this off. Like that. Now before I get too far, I want to make sure that the, the new brakes are actually going to be able to reach the rim because some of the old brakes sometimes will have like longer arms and so you might need long reach brakes in order to reach them. So what I'll do is take the nut off there, just slide this in the hole and just look to see are those brake pads going to hit the rims and yes they will, they'll reach the rims easily. And I want to check the rear one as well, so I'll take the little nut off of there and slide this on here like this, just in there. and. Yeah, those pads will hit the rim easily back here as well, so no problem. So now, in order to mount the recess mounted brake on here, I want to widen the hole on the back side of the mount. This is the back side of the fork here. I want to widen it enough so that the recess nut will slide in there. Uh, this is 8 millimeters in diameter, so I just want to widen this hole uh, to about 8 millimeters. So now I'm using an 8 millimeter bit. Uh, if you don't have an 8 millimeter bit, uh, you can use a 5 16 inch bit, which is really close to an 8 millimeter bit. It's just a hair smaller. Uh, you might need to uh, ream it around a little bit in order to get that extra little space open. But so I'm going to use an 8 millimeter bit here. Uh, squeeze a little bit of uh, oil onto there. And then just carefully drill out the back here. Just widen that hole a bit. Through. Wipe this off here and test my recessed nut and it fits in there nicely. Now let's test this here, slide the brake in through the front here and get the recessed nut on the back and then tighten this in like that. So I have the front brake mounted now. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the back side of the brake bridge. Keep in mind, you're not drilling all the way through the whole uh, bridge or the whole fork. You're only drilling the, the one side, the hole on the one side. So for this, because this is a very tight uh, space in here, I'm going to be using a, a right angle drill and I'm also using a very stubby little bit here. I actually took this bit, used an angle grinder to cut the shank down and I also cut the uh, bit down part and then sharpened out a drill doctor. So uh, even then it's still just a very tight little spot to drill into there. So uh, again, I'm going to put like a, bit, a little bit of oil on here and then carefully drill into this. And I'm through just the one side there. Just the back side of the hole is where I want to drill. Now to test to make sure my recessed nut fits in there and it fits in there very nicely. Now one more thing I want to do is I want to have a concave washer to fit on the back side of this brake bridge here. So I'm going to need to drill a hole in here also 8 millimeters for that recessed uh, nut to fit through. So I'm just holding it with a pair of vice grips and then just kind of drill through there. It's aluminum so it shouldn't be too difficult to drill through. There. So I have my brake here and I have a concave washer. I'm going to put one on that side there and then kind of slide this through here. And then I have my drilled concave washer and I'm going to slide my recessed nut through that. And then I'm going to slide this into the hole there and start trying to tighten it into there. And I'm going to use a uh, ratchet wrench here with a five millimeter hex bit on there to go to tighten it in. And then center it and tighten it down like that. And this brake is mounted. I think it looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Uh, let me know down in the comments. 
I still have to hook up the cables, adjust the pads and all that stuff, but I have a whole bunch of uh, work to do on the bike before I get to that point. And all that stuff's pretty straightforward anyway. Uh, hopefully you guys found this video useful or interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click that subscribe button. Be sure to click the bell so you get notified when new videos come out. I'm over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there like that page. I post a lot of stuff over there. It's a lot of fun. And as always, thank you guys very much for watching.